Hello and welcome to Gun News, a show that highlights and streamlines the best firearm stories from around the web. We find the best trending stories and features so that you can keep up with what's happening in the world of guns. So strap on a holster, put one in the chamber, because it's time for Gun News. sponsored by Alien Gear Holsters. They make the most comfortable, concealable holsters on the planet. Any planet. This one here is from my Glock 43, now compatible with Viridian lasers. Click over in this area to check them out. Polish engineers at Moratex Institute of Security Technology have invented a liquid material that can effectively stop bullets better than Kevlar. According to researchers, the more force exerted into the liquid, the harder the liquid becomes. Although the material has been around for years, the new improvements to the product have brought it closer to being released into the market. What makes it better than Kevlar is its ability to disperse the force of a bullet, creating a rippling effect through the liquidy substance. This effect prevents large bullet deflections that can be strong enough to crack ribs and break sternums. The new material also has properties that could be used for protective sports padding, road barriers, and car bumpers. Get ready to love concealed carriers even more with this next one. Two New Holland firefighters may have prevented a massacre from happening at their own fire station. According to reports, a lone gunman pulled into the station's parking lot and began shooting at his own car and firing bullets into the air. I came out of the office, saw the man with the gun, uh, told everybody to leave out the back quickly. There was a man in the parking lot with a gun and I was not kidding. Firefighter Gary Nolan, another concealed carry permit holder, advised everyone to leave out of the back of the fire station. Then the two drew their weapons on the gunman. The firefighters talked the suspect down, disarming and apprehending him before anyone was hurt. Noel hopes that additional charges will be added to raise the $20,000 bail set for Chad Baker. Until then, he's worried the lunatic may be lurking around with a sniper rifle, posing a threat to anyone in the area. The largest stock of military surplus 45 ACP 1911A1 pistols will be made available to the general public in the coming months. Close to 100,000 of these World War II standard issue handguns will be transferred to the Civilian's Marksmanship Program. If the amendment becomes law, the CMP would be able to sell these popular pistols along with 30 caliber and 22 caliber rifles. Mike Rogers, a Republican from Alabama, said this amendment is a win-win for taxpayers. At $2 to store each gun per year, this could save the public over $200,000 and will also give them access to such a notorious and prominent of American history. The amendment will come to the House floor later this month. The race to replace the U.S. Army's sidearm has just gotten very interesting. Teutonix, a small five-man Illinois gun company, has a real shot at providing our military with a new standard-issue firearm with their all-new state-of-the-art modular all-metal STX handgun. A woman's life was threatened at a fast-track car wash in Smyrna, Georgia, when a criminal tried to steal her unattended vehicle. The woman, shown in this video, proceeded to jump on her own hood to prevent the man's getaway, but that didn't stop the culprit from trying to drive off the premises. From a few car spaces away, a concealed carrier took it upon himself to save the hood-riding woman, with a single shot fired into the shoulder of the car thief. Although the suspect driver was taken to the hospital for recovery, police say three accomplices are still at large in the surrounding area. A man in Wichita Falls, Texas, tried to bribe a gun-wielding homeowner with 10 bucks when he was caught burglarizing the man's house. This brings stupidity to a whole new level. Not surprisingly, the victim turned down the $10 bribe and dialed 911. The intruders fled the scene in a car that ultimately crashed into a nearby neighborhood fence. Only one of the suspects was found and arrested by Wichita police. No word yet on if the man attempted to bribe the cops to set him free. Now if you want more from Defending Carry's gun news, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and you'll be guaranteed more current and thought-provoking news in the world of guns. Thanks for watching. Links to these stories in the description below.